everyone. My name is Nayana Harris, and I am a junior studying communication sciences and disorders here at Illinois State University. Located in Normal, Illinois, Illinois State University was established in 1857 as Illinois' first public university. And right here is our first stop at the Bone Student Center. Braden Auditorium is an entertainment venue that seats 3,500 people. Some recent performers include the All-American Rejects, AJR, Young Gravy, and Noah Khan. Here, you can find study areas, the Redbird Spirit Shop, Tech Zone, Career Services, and more. Behind me is the Bowling and Billiards Center. It reopened in the fall of 2022 after going through a $4.5 million renovation. It features 10 bowling lanes, 12 billiard tables, video games, three table tennis tables, air hockey, and there's free bowling on your birthday. Also in the Bowling and Billiards Center is our Redbird Esports Center, which features 72 PCs, the latest gaming consoles, and a broadcast and production booth. Milner Library is a six-story building named after ISU's original librarian, Ange Milner. It has over 2,000 places to study. It also plays host to Positively Stress-Free, where students can relax with service dogs during finals week. Not only are we standing in the quad, but we are also standing in the Fell Arboretum. Granted its status in 1995, it consists of a 490-acre site established with thousands of trees representing over 225 species. Also on the quad is Hovey Hall, which houses admissions, financial aid, and other administrative offices. Right next door is Molten Hall, which is where you can find our veterans and military services. The State Farm Hall of Business opened its doors in January of 2005. In the College of Business, you'll find the departments of Accounting, Finance, Insurance, and Law, Marketing, and Management and Quantitative Reasoning. ISU is one of two schools in Illinois to offer international business. Down in the atrium, the Business Bistro sells coffee, pastries, and made-to-order sandwiches. There's also a computer lab and a courtyard. The Fine Arts Corner is currently undergoing renovation. A new wing will be added to the Center of Performing Arts to hold recital halls as well as other spaces. Centennial West will be taken down to make way for the new home of the School of Theater and Dance and Centennial East will receive upgrades to enhance the student experience. Waterson Towers is the largest of three residence halls on campus. In fact, it's the tallest point in Illinois between Chicago and St. Louis, standing at 28 stories tall. Waterson Dining Commons offers burritos, pizza, grilled sandwiches, salad bar, home-style entrees, themed vegetables, and self-serve deli sandwiches. Complete your meal with fresh fruit, a freshly baked dessert, or soft serve ice cream. Here we are at the Student Fitness Center. It has three floors worth of cardio machines, weight machines, and free weights. And right when you walk in the door, you are greeted by our 47 foot rock climbing wall. In the Student Fitness Center, we have four fitness studios for exercise classes, a four lane swimming pool with a leisure area, two basketball courts, and a 200 meter trek located on the third floor. The Multicultural Center is home to a variety of diverse registered student organizations, including Black Student Union, Pride, the Asian Pacific American Coalition, the Association of Latin American Students, and Tribe. The Multicultural Center also includes spaces like the Gender Affirmation Station, the Podcast Room, Conference Rooms, the Social Justice Library, the Reflection and Prayer Room, and a Gathering Space. Right now we're on West Campus, home of our athletic facilities, as well as Tri Towers, which is the third of three residence halls on campus. SEFQ Arena is home to men's and women's basketball, as well as women's volleyball. It's also where you can see Gamma Phi Circus, which is the oldest and largest collegiate circus in the nation. Inside Tri Towers, you'll find Marketplace at Lincoln's, which is the second of two dining halls on campus. In addition to home style options and daily food bars featuring taco bars and mashed potato bars, students can enjoy brick oven style pizza by the slice, pasta, or a self-service deli with panini grills. 
Just east of campus is Uptown Normal, where you'll find a variety of restaurants, retail shops, and even normal theater. Uptown Normal is also where you can find the Children's Discovery Museum, the Post Office, CVS, and Uptown Station, which is the Multimodal Transportation Center, which features the Amtrak, the Peoria Charter, and the Connect Transit bus system. Thank you for joining me on today's tour, and we hope to see you back here in person sometime.